do take five. I really don't want this video to be very long. So I just watched um, Grumpy Old Grognard's video, which I'll link in the description down below. And I just wanted to take a few minutes to touch on one thing that he made abundantly clear. Now, in the video, he's, he's going to piss people off because he, he points out that everything Wizards has put out is not really Dungeons & Dragons. It's some other game, some generic fantasy game with Dungeons & Dragons, the logo slapped on it. I've heard this sentiment before. And that's fine. But where it goes, and I think you really need to watch all 30 minutes of his video. That's why mine's not going to be very long. And I'm going to, illust I'm going to illustrate his, his point. I'm going to drive it home. And when you watch his video, you will see exactly what I mean. I want you, watching this right now, to just do two things tonight. First, I want you to just sit back and relax and just listen to me. This is not going to be some AS, uh, ASMR, I think it's called. It's not going to be that at all. As a matter of fact, what it's going to be is it's just going to be me talking to you. And we're going to go through a little exercise together. Okay? And if you're ready, I just want you to sit back. And I want you to close your eyes. I'm going to get real close to this mic so you can hear me. And here's how it's going to go. Okay. Ready? Eyes closed. No peeking. No peeking. Stop it. Stop it. Close those eyes. Okay. Now, I want you to go back to your favorite tabletop RPG. I don't care which one it is. I really don't. Go ahead. I want you to I want you to mentally see it in your mind. See that bookshelf with your RPGs on it. I don't care if it's real or digital. I just want you to just go to that bookshelf and I want you to in your mind visualize this reaching over to that book sliding it out putting that book down on a desk or in your lap or propping up with it getting comfortable start flipping through the pages now this point when you turn the next page you will see a light emanating from that book it's your favorite tabletop RPG it is now a portal into another world and now before you step into that portal as you go through its its membrane of light here we'll just call it that as you go through this portal you are magically transformed into the character you wanted to be when you that first character your present character a character from about three four game, uh, campaigns ago it doesn't matter that character you are now that character and I want you to picture yourself as that strong character ready to take on anything if you're a wizard you got spells if you're an edge runner you got your you got your chips and your jacks and you're ready to go if you're a space trucker well then you're ready to, you're ready for this mission to be over so you can go home and get paid if you're um if you're a barbarian you've got your sword in hand you're ready you're ready to rock if you're on chalt you're probably in for a really weird time just letting you know that's a better If you're an astronaut, then you're out there exploring space. Or maybe you're just a Jedi with the serial numbers filed off, ready to rid the galaxy of the tyranny that you're fighting. Doesn't matter what the character is, doesn't matter what they look like, doesn't matter what color they are, or what you claim their background heritage is. It, it doesn't matter. Doesn't even matter what yours is. Here's what I want you to do. Start paying attention, because this is where it's important. Did you start smiling? Did you actually feel a sense of elation? Oh yeah, I threw some suggestions out there. Don't don't open your eyes. Don't open your eyes. Keep them closed. 
because you're still in that world. You're out there fighting the good fight. You're in Skate Wizards, right? Which just arrived today for me. And you are totally shredding on that board. It's the source of your magic, baby. You're one of the hermetic order of the Skate Wizards, and you are just far out, man. You're tubular. You're gnarly, right? Maybe you're just playing a game of modern age. Maybe you're playing a game, a supers game, and you're a superhero, but you have a secret identity, and you have to keep the two set lives separate. Otherwise, people you know could suffer, and you know, in very horrible ways from your arch nemesis. Doesn't really matter. Maybe you're an Indiana Jones type, Tennessee O'Malley, Tennessee Williams. It, it doesn't matter. Any of those. Maybe you're a cowboy on the open frontier. Maybe you're a native meeting those cowboys for the first time. Are you there to reassure them that they'll be okay? Or are you out to rid the planes of them? Doesn't matter. Did that put a smile on your face? Did it make you feel just wonderful inside? If the answer is yes then that's the game you love. And that's what you should be playing. If the answer is no, it's time to find another game. Because the entire point of this, and you can go ahead and open your eyes now. Welcome back. The entire point of this is just play what you love. It doesn't matter if I consider it official this or that it doesn't matter whether I like the game or not you do and you should be playing that game you should be and if, if, if these games just aren't doing it for you you should be ready willing and able to come up with your own come up with your own with friends doesn't have to be D and D. You know, I got a lot of free games down below. Go ahead and check those out. There is a list of games out there. A lot of them free. I would be grabbing them now because they may not be there tomorrow. And that's a hard fact of life, but it's true. There's a real chance they could all be gone tomorrow. Well, maybe not tomorrow, but y you get what I'm saying. But that's what you should be doing. Playing the games you love. Playing the games that matter to you. There's nothing else better to do. Especially if you love this hobby as much as I do. And let me give you an illustration. I recently bought Dragonlance Companion by Splinterverse over at DM's Guild. Yes, I am fully aware I just gave Watsy some money. I'm fully aware of that, but here's the thing. My love for a third-party independent publisher is greater than my harsh dislike for Watsy right now. In any case... That's the same thing I'm asking of you. You have to decide what you love versus what you don't. And you're going to have to decide to go all in on what you love. Especially now. Because there are just things Watsy can't take away from you. There are things Hasbro can't take away from you. They can't take the books you already have. They can't take the PDFs you already have. They can't take away your dice. They can't take away your your GM screen, they can't take away your battle mat, they can't take away your miniatures, they can't take away a damn thing you already own. Now I want you to think about what you do own. Here's a little something, I practice this a lot. Go to your bookshelf. Do this daily. 
Go to your bookshelf for your tabletop RPGs. Pull a book down. Thumb through it. And when you look at the author, the artist, and all that, just tell them, just look at that book and say, thank you for creating this for me. I truly appreciate it. When you practice choosing what you love over what you don't, when you choose exercising that little bit of gratitude, the rest is easy. It's not as hard as you think. That's really where I want to stop. That's really that's really the message. I love this hobby. I've always loved this hobby. I found very, very warm, welcoming, and inviting people when I came back to this hobby a couple years ago. And it's now that I want to practice a little gratitude as well. So to all of you in the Basic Expert Gilded server, thank you. Yodano, thank you. Grumpy Old Grognard, thank you. To all of you following me on my Twitter, thank you. For all of you subscribed to my channels, no matter where you're subscribed, thank you. To all of you who, you know, retweet the links. To all of you who share the video with your own commentary, it's perfectly fine. For all of you who comment for leaving the, the thumbs up. And yeah, some of you for leaving the thumbs down. Because maybe those videos just aren't for you, bud. And that's okay. Thank you. And if I didn't mention you specifically... It doesn't mean I've forgotten you. It doesn't mean I don't thank you. I thank you anyway. Because you're just as important to me. Every one of you. And now I'll tell you. I love you all. Take care of yourselves and each other. Because I kind of like having you around. I want you to always play what lights you up. Just like it did a minute ago. And as always. Play on.